Hello, I'm United States Senator Scott Brown. As many of you know, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, testified this week on Capitol Hill about his company's $2 billion trading loss. This loss is a real problem, especially when confidence in our nation's financial institutions is already at an all-time low. Companies like J.P. Morgan should make sure that this doesn't happen in the first place. Someone was clearly asleep at the switch, and that is unacceptable. Back in May, when the loss was originally reported, I wrote to Mr. Diamond and called on him to take back the bonuses of those who were involved in making the trades and for Diamond himself to return his own bonus and incentive compensation to J.P. Morgan shareholders. The only way to change the risk-taking culture on Wall Street is to hit the people responsible uh, for this action where it hurts, and that's their pocketbooks and wallets. We also need sound regulation that is properly implemented. I was one of the three members of my party to support Wall Street reform, casting the deciding 60th, 60th vote for its passage. The bill is a major overhaul of our financial laws, which provides strong regulations on a variety of issues, everything from consumer protection to mortgages to derivative rules. When some of my colleagues were saying that the bill would be bad for our economy, reduce lending and kill jobs, I kept an open mind, as I always do, and instead I went to work to make it better. I spent my time working on amendments to protect our troops from financial scams and to make sure that mortgages are safer. I also worked with Congressman Barney Frank to avoid overregulating the kinds of safe financial firms that we have in Massachusetts. Since the very beginning, I've said that it's important that the rules are both properly targeted and fair. It's important that institutions in Massachusetts and across the country that had nothing to do with causing the financial crisis, such as community banks and credit unions, of which you know many of them in your hometowns, aren't forced to cut back on lending and investing in our economy, especially when our small businesses and families desperately need the money to make it through these tough economic times. Getting that balance right is critically important, especially in Massachusetts, where the financial services industry is the second largest industry in the country. That industry employs hundreds of thousands of base daters and is responsible for 10% of our total economic output. Listen, that's about $35.5 billion. Good companies like Mass Mutual, which never took a government bailout, are anchors for communities like Springfield. They shouldn't be punished for the misdeeds of others. That's why I'm going to keep working across the aisle to make sure that Wall Street reform works for our country and for Massachusetts. Thank you.